Awaken! How are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. So? All the magicians of fire are dead. Gomez had them assassinated. It won't be easy to straighten that out. I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. They want a meeting at the usual place. It was about time! What happens now? I'm gonna stay here a bit longer to study the old books. Uh, I don't understand. Master E. Berrien used to say, a student tries to move things with his hands and feet. The master moves them with his spiritual powers. Okay, okay, I get the point. Take care. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. May the sleeper protect you. Awaken! But keep it to your I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once! Awaken! I'd like to trade with you. Good. Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. Maybe. 
something about that oh, story on. after all. I did not go rushing into anything. If you think. What's that? Well, hang on. I did not go rushing into anything. Awaken! I want to acquire magic writings. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. I I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive Ore Mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was... Somebody. Well, 
I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? I thought there were only twelve. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believe that. This thirteenth magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out or doesn't want to help us, he will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry, I'll be back. I have been exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer? Then I welcome you to our community. Does that mean that I now belong to the Guild of the Magicians of Water? Not yet. First you need to take the Oath of Water. But I've already taken the Oath of Fire. Hmm. It doesn't mean you're breaking your vow. Uh, I don't understand. You're extending your vow. That way you'll become a magician of both elements. Then you'll have the force of fire, as well as the wisdom of water. I'm ready to take the oath. Servant of the fire, you shall now receive the blessing of the water. Now speak the words of the oath. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. And by the power of the holy water. And by the power of the holy water that my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. With this oath, you unite the power of the fire and the blessing of the water Within you, you have now bound together what was apart before. May your life be a sign of the unification of the elements. Wear this robe as a sign of your bond with the holy water and with Adanos. For the honor of magic, Can you instruct me? There is one more circle you don't know yet. I shall teach you as soon as you're ready. I'd like to wear the high robe of water. The time has come. You are worthy of wearing the high robe of water. May you return in one piece? Hello! I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester at your usual rendezvous. Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. 
You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's Provisional Guard. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. Hello! How's it going? Everything's quiet. Nothing's moving in the free mine. Lee is still busy organizing our defense. See you later! joined us. Show me your goods. For the honor of magic. For the honor of magic! Let For the honor of magic. What do you think about the mine? They've gone too far. They'll be sorry for it. trading anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it.
your decision to join the magicians of water was right. Be welcome, brother. For the honor of magic. I want to acquire magic writings. I need a few things. I need a few things. Well, there was a time when things would have gone my very differently. That wasn't very clever. Like you rely on somebody in your trunk. That's how it goes. Same old story. Every Some people time. never been wasn't very clever. a time People when things thought. would have gone very differently. If you think, I'd better keep out of it. Then what happened in the end? I doubt it's ever likely to change. That's not really my problem.
Yeah, yeah, don't panic. You've won. Damn. Thank you. 